um, in the UK, it's very much um, a growth story. Um, so first of all, yeah, the nuclear renaissance is also getting um, traction here in Europe. Um, but like you just said, we have a very poor track record of building reactors, at least large scale reactors here in Europe. So um, I would divide divide the story uh, sort of from an investment angle into two, um, not because of Brexit, but just because of um, the specific policy uh, signals that we're getting from both the UK and the EU 27. And that's how we kind of framed our, our analysis um, in the UK. It's very much um, a growth story. So the UK has roughly five gigawatts at the moment, um, which are set to be phased out mostly uh, through 2028. So the UK is in really in dire need of um, of deploying not only SMRs, which are not are not likely to come online until 2035 or beyond, uh, but to actually deliver large scale projects um, and. The company that's sort of in the middle of this is um, is Centrica. Um, so Centrica, just uh, for context, is it's a retail weighted, uh, retail focused utility in the UK, um, and they've um, they they had uh, had a couple of great years during the energy crisis, um, in which they actually harbor or harnessed um, net debt, net cash position, sorry, um, and they invested um, significant share of that into Sizewell C. Um, Sizewell C will be the the UK's um, next large scale reactor to be deployed beyond 2030, um, and that pretty much banks on the fact that we get Hinkley Point C uh, delivered before 2032. So those are two projects that will deliver roughly um, three gigawatts and, and will help the UK sort of stabilize its nuclear fleet. Um, and we expect a couple more extensions on the existing fleet just because our analysis tells us that if they don't, um, the UK um, you know, has a significant risk of actually running out of capacity before 2030. Um, that said, large scale reactors, you know, under this new um, regulated asset base model that the UK is um, is sponsoring, and I say sponsoring, it's because the UK government has a 49.9% stake in size we'll see. So there's a clear policy signal that they want this um, to move forward. But uh, if it does, then we expect the UK's um, fleet to actually triple to 2050. And a lot of that growth, almost 50% of that growth will, will come from SMRs. So in Europe, it's really about modernizing 